Hi, my name is Shubham Makwana, and I work for the Ministry of Transportation for Ontario. Now, one of the things we do in our work is make plans for our transportation system, including building new roads, transit infrastructure, and obviously educating drivers and making sure that the rules that we make keep our transportation system one of the safest in the world. Now, in our planning offices, we're studying how new forms of transportation might help us solve transportation problems. Um, outside of that, driverless cars and trucks, connected vehicles that share information with each other, micromobility devices like e-scooters, e-bikes, and even hoverboards, uh, electric or hydrogen powered cars may eventually help people and businesses in the bigger cities that we live in. But for this challenge, we want you to think about how advanced air mobility, usually referred to as drones, could improve mobility and goods movement in Ontario. Drones come in all shapes and sizes. Some people use them for fun and recreation. Others use them for aerial photography or inspecting hard to access locations like the bottom of a bridge over a river, for example. But we call this technology advanced air mobility, also known as AM, rather than just drones, because the work doesn't only include remotely piloted aircrafts, which are drones, but also something we like to call the electric vertical takeoff and landing aircrafts, also known as eVTOL. Um, now, these are used both to carry people and goods. Now, the eVTOL is still in design, development, and the testing phase, but once they're available for sale and use, we will likely have a pilot for many years to come, but not necessarily forever, right? So, you've most probably heard about pizza delivery being one of the most common uses for the drone, obviously, but did you know that in Toronto, one such craft carried an organ from the donor's hospital to the recipient's hospital by flying off of one rooftop helipad onto the other. It avoided all traffic and any delays that something like that would experience. So now we know that drones can transport sensitive items like rare blood or a donor organ where they need to go very quickly and very directly. So AM is a desirable technology for transportation for several reasons. Most of them are electric powered, so they're environmentally friendly. They don't require as much space and infrastructure as airplanes or helicopters since they're small and they don't need a runway. They don't or one day won't need a pilot and thus we can dedicate their power usage to carry more goods and in the future, hopefully passengers. AM could be used for moving packages, supplies, and even tools to places where road travel would be much slower, tricky, or even costly. One day, AM could provide passenger services to locations without the need for full airport infrastructure, including rural and remote areas and communities. Now, AM could be used for non-transportation uses as well, such as building and bridge inspections, wildlife and forest fire monitoring, and even land surveying, right? Emergency responders could send drones ahead of them to survey scenes to get a better understanding of what the situation is and create a better plan for their response, even as they're on their way. So here's the challenge. What are the three most practical and socially valuable use cases for advanced air mobility in Ontario? Please explain the type of services and what transportation issues they will be addressing in Ontario and how objections to these operations could be overcome. In your response, take into consideration safety, economic development, mobility, equity, and public perceptions. Good luck.